Hello. Today we have came out of town to Craig Miller Castle. We gotta buy tickets first. Look, 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 look. This is us walking towards Craig Miller Castle. Now there's this beautiful castle, as you can see right here. There's Kirsten. Hello. There's Arthur's seat. And I got more excited right now that they've built a bit in the wall when they built the wall for the root of the tree. Yeah, that's Arthur's seat. What did you think it was? It looks different from this side. <laughs> <laughs> She's only lived in Edinburgh her whole life, but she doesn't recognise Arthur's seat. I don't seat. think I've ever looked at it from this side. Ah, <laughs> uh, a wall. <laughs> that's a lovely guided tour there by Kirsten. Here we have a brick. Here we have another brick. <laughs> <laughs> What's that there? Uh, no, that. Very interesting. That's a brick. Right. This is a fine old room. It's a nice way to describe it. Oh, I've added a is. It just says this, this fine, fine old room. room. <laughs> like, this this is, is. This right here. <laughs> One of okay. the most perfectly preserved late medieval castles in Scotland, Craig Miller stood witness to events which changed history. I'm sure this is one of the many castles that Mary Queen of Scots stayed at. Oh yeah, several of Mary Queen Scott's advisors signed the Craig Miller bond on agreement to kill her husband Henry Stuart. That's <gasps> nice. Drama. It looks like at some point we'll be able to go up there, get a nice view. I think this has been on Outlander for all you Outlander fans. You're about to be recognising things. Look, 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 it's one of my favourite things. Windows that have been blocked up and are no longer windows. Why not? When those are still windows, why are they not still windows? Oh, well, there's a tree behind the front door. Why would you plant a tree behind the door? Ye olde graffiti. Either that, or that's like a house number. No, no. In Winterfell. In the actually, corner. yeah, it actually does look like you need a pond. This is actually really cool, isn't it? Ah, uh, I don't think. Because there's stairs there at the other side of the window. So I oh. think perhaps at one point that was the castle had more to the front. Yeah, maybe. Oh my god, I see ghosts up there. <laughs> <laughs> Is that a ghost? Is that ghosts? Oh my goodness, ladies and gentlemen, real ghosts. Real ghosts, caught on camera. This is beautiful, actually. The kitchen. Oh wow. Look at that, that's stunning. Diagon Alley. <laughs> <laughs> that's tall. It really is and kind of terrifying. You know, looking at it through the camera like this, this would be a shot in a horror movie that all of a sudden something would crawl around the wall and come right at you. Built in 1661, but incorporating earlier elements later used as a stable. That's not very hygienic, having the horses in the kitchen. Kirsten noticed this little space over here, which seems to have chains on it. Must be to stop birds going in and nesting. But then, there's maybe not, because there's windows up here. I'm not sure, but, oh, maybe a stairwell, you think? Because that looks like a second yeah. floor, yeah. so this might have been a windy stairwell. Mm -hmm. Very small bag. <laughs> where all the artists live. You know, even the old fireplaces in a ruin are lovely. <laughs> You've got a thing about looking up chimneys. <laughs> Don't you think it looked like the last chimney? If that was a <laughs> horror movie shot, someone would crawl there. Just a face would all of a sudden appear and crawl really fast. But yeah, so this is the drawing room. Looked like there was another, look, see there's another bit, another old archway. And another bigger archway. Doorway blocked there. Obviously another bit here blocked off. There's so many little bits of this that it just, it just makes me ask questions. That would be the beams for the roof, wouldn't it? Bed chamber, oh, yeah, um, 
wine cellar next to their bed. See, now that obviously just went to the space we were just in, but it's blocked off now. Why? Why? <laughs> Is that a nest? No. No. I bet if that's a nest, I don't want to see what was in it. Yeah, no. Showing that that was a fireplace on a second floor. Because no. that would be a floor there. That would be the fireplace. But this bedchamber and next to the bedchamber is Kirsten spotted the wine cellar. Oh look, twisty stairs. The nice thing about this window here is when you actually look out, okay the tree's probably older and taller but since there's a lot of trees and things you can almost imagine that this is what it would look like when this was, you know, someone's bedroom. Looking out to the fields. I'm not sure what you're in. I think it's the lookout tower because you've got the little I cannot stand up in there. <laughs> See? I'm, I'm hitting the roof. Do you think it was a lookout tower? Yeah, but it's very limited. Oh, it's echo in here. It must have been, there's nothing else for it to be. I can't see in front of me, but I can see either side. Hi. Yeah, see, we should really look for the signs before we start speculating. Closet leading to the bedchamber, <laughs> where we've just been. <laughs> To the wine cellar. I'm guessing the wine cellar's down, being cellar. You're looking very hesitant. It's just the, it looks quite windy and uneven, so. Oh, it's so dark. It's really steep. Yeah. Like I've got the camera almost pointed straight down. Ah, I can almost smell the wine. It's surprisingly dry. Yeah, it really is. You think it'd be a lot more dry. I was actually thinking, since you know it's not got a roof, a lot of this, it's actually in really good condition. Just really short of a, lo a roof and some floors. I get interested by little bits like this window. It's a very small, far away window, and I get it would maybe just to get air in and a bit of light, but still, I got that. Rock. It's been used, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, when I was reading up on this, it just started as like a small house that each owner built more and more and more. Oh, so when did it become a castle? Oh, I don't know. So, you know, that's the bed, that's the closet we were in yeah. next to the bed chamber a minute ago with the cellar underneath. You probably did cables. <laughs> you all the electricalicity. I mean, these are beautiful rooms. See, these funny little, almost ever decreasing to a really small window, it's a random design. There, I know there must be some castle architectural reason for it, letting air and light in without letting heavy rain in or something, but I need to know why all these things happened. Right, look. People were a lot smaller. I can't, I've hit that straight away. And <laughs> <laughs> you're just perfectly fitting. Kirsten was just saying that some of this is properly old graffiti. Some not so much. Some not so much, the ones that are really rushed, Look, but then here. the old graffiti is lovely. They took their time on it. Nowadays, not so much. Just in case you weren't sure, this is a staircase. I was looking at the staircase. Like a balcony. Window converted into doorway. Ah, right, okay, so this would be an extension on then. But this is a basement. Yeah, but this says window converted into a doorway. So this would be a window at one point, and then this was an extension. Yeah, but why would you want a balcony to look at your basement? Well, you wouldn't, because that's a second floor. That's, that, bit's, that bit there's a floor that would go on the top of that, so okay. that's the basement. And this would have went right across to a bigger room. Go on. Okay. <laughs> Who are we fighting? The people. <laughs> Who are the people? Bad people. Don't hide because... <laughs> Tony. 
he's hiding. Because if you jump out at me, all that's going to get damaged is your camera. Because I'll drop it. There you are. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you were in there. <laughs> See, for Outlander fans, this must be very cool. Because they must be spotting things. I could wish that I were dead. Mary Queen of Scots must have come here many times, although records of only two of her visits survive. Usually, she came to enjoy the hunting grounds around the castle, but in November 1566, ill with depression, Mary came here to recover. Oh. I'm hovering it dark at every single doorway, all apart from this one, this one's fine. That you can see out of. Ooh! more interested when you can't see out of it because it looks you know scary it's mysterious yeah kitchen another kitchen built to replace the one in the tower house oh so this was the new kitchen when that old kitchen got turned into a stable probably yeah Kirsten just noticed that there's some stained glass window there i don't know if that's old or uh, newer however there's this very cool crest here but the thing is i mean that looks like it could be a unicorn. Um, that one there looks like a unicorn. That looks like a monkey. There she is. <laughs> I was going to say I have no idea where she's gone and then she just peeked her head <laughs> round the corner just as I was about to say it. Every area is just cool to look at and exciting to look at. Is it kind of sad? that I just want to climb up here. Yeah. There's, a, there's another floating fireplace there. Because obviously, there would, like I said, there would be another floor there to go along to that doorway. I'm actually noticing that there are two floating fireplaces. There's one there, and there's another one there. So there must have been two floors here before this ground floor. This is one of those natural built chairs, which are incredibly comfortable for you just to sit and admire the wall. <laughs> wow. You see if this was <laughs> see if this was like a horror movie, the fact that you're leading the way all the time, I'm very impressed. Oh. <laughs> look, look, look. There's the three eyed raven looking down on us. Or as I zoom in, three eyed pigeon. There's one thing about coming into all these different rooms, and they're all cool, and a lot of them just say chamber. But you kind of lose track if you've been in it or not, because a lot of them look very similar. And why? Why is this staircase stopped? Oh yeah, because it would have went further up. Oh yeah, because you can see that it's, it's got another rotation to it there. Yeah. So why? I want to know. These are the things I, I want to know. Oh my goodness, this looks like a torture chamber. That looks like scratches on the wall. Yeah. Are we in the Chucky from Matilda? Ha! <laughs> Northeast corner tower used at one time as a dovecot where pigeons were kept for food. Oh. So this would. <laughs> thing is, about all these uneven floors and stairs and steps, you do have to watch yourself. It's easy to trip. I, on the other hand, have to watch Kirsten to try to catch her, because she will die. <laughs> a little bit clumsy. Oh, is this us up to the next floor of that room we've looked this at? This is the bed chamber. This is the, the room we were in earlier. There's the two fireplaces. So we're essentially at the top floor of that now. He's away. Oh, that's that's terrifying. <laughs> oh, gosh, and it's quite uneven. On that note, you take the expensive camera. So there's Arthur's seat right there. So Edinburgh Castle's probably about there-ish, and then we're looking out over the Firth of Forth. 
That's got out towards East Lothian coast, so Musselburgh, Haddington, Dunbar, out of town that way. So what is this? I get it's a turret, but what would what would the, the I'm guessing it would have been a lookout spot really. I've genuinely got no idea. I have to say this is very uneven ground to walk on. But it's beautiful. We're not allowed at this bit, you can see it's padlocked and there's none of the safety grates, but you can see this is what it would look like if people weren't visiting. It's a good way to see looked after, left to ruin. Ooh. What? That part like, was literally level with my face flapping out of nowhere and I was like, Whoa. Right. Like that is a proper steep windy staircase, look at that. Like. I'm almost filling up the whole step with just my feet. Before I fall. Like that is, uh, yeah, I mean, that's <laughs> really, 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 really windy. That, there seems to be some old Scots characters talking away in the corner. Old doors, you know how I love my old doors. So these people do tend to be talking from that period, whichever period they are. Sorry? No, it's kind of they are having a conversation themselves from whichever time period they're in but you're kind of like yeah it's can like can you tell me a story? yeah it's like can i go up and talk to you yeah. can i not kitchen converted into bed chamber in the 16th century they've converted a lot of kitchens this is the th this is the third kitchen and this is the second one that's been converted principal bed chamber provided with its own fireplace and latrine closet no outdoor toilet for this person. Oh, is that is uh, latrine? Right, so it is. Yeah. So this is the toilet. Yeah, it probably would do, but it would be uh. It would have just put it in there and it would have shot out the side. That's exactly what it is. Yeah. Yeah. Gardelu. Yeah. So you'd sit on there and you'd do your business. Take a seat. It is actually quite smelly in there. <laughs> <laughs> We've made it to the roof where they seem to have. Now there is a staircase up to the roof, but this looks like obviously a bit more modern. They built a walkway here for you to be on. However, you get a great view. Look, that's the view I was saying. So there's Edinburgh Castle. Edinburgh Castle, like I said, Arthur's seat. It is, for a ruin, an incredibly good nick. Now, there doesn't seem to be a sign on this one, but this looks like the highest room in the building, really. So who do you think stayed here? Or was this a look like pillar? I don't know because I did have a fireplace and obviously did have a roof. Um, but the room we, that we were just in with the latrine said it was the main chamber, so... Where have you gone? Training. <laughs> now, considering there must have been a roof here at some point, where? Here, because obviously that's, you know, that's a room and that's a room. There must have been some sort of roof here somewhere. The drainage here, you can see, would have flown off from the rain through these old yeah. brick things and then off somewhere. It's a random thing to spot. I like random stuff like that. You are random. Thanks! However, it just goes to show that everyone then must have been more like Kirsten's site than my height. I tell you, you do not want to come here if you don't like walking up and down these sort of stairwells because there are a lot of them. This is just a dead end. This is the only bit of the place where we thought we hadn't explored yet. And it's a dead end. We get a good view with a giant bird nest. Terrifyingly big. Excuse me, that is a haggis's nest. Do you <sighs> not even know what a haggis's nest looks like? It's a wild haggis nest, is it? Yeah. So. I've made a deal and I just get to leave Kirsten here now. Yeah, that's you. Do you like your new home? No. That's it. Bye. Say bye bye everyone. Bye. We all need to try to run away and hide now. I think she's going to wait to see if I come back, which I'm not going to do. I can hear her footsteps. Dubs are falling over. <laughs> we 
we're back in the forecourt now. We tend to come back to this quite a lot when you're wandering from different bits. But I think that's a scene everywhere. Yeah, I actually really enjoyed it. Yeah, so did I. It was a lot of fun. Inside that little room where there was the couple of actors that we didn't get quite that was going on, they were having a conversation from the time period they were in. However, when we walked past again, Kirsten saw that they were actually speaking to a family. Because the kids, unlike two adults, had just went straight up and went, Hi, who are you? Because <laughs> that's what maybe kids a bit do. Shy. Yeah. Um, and it turns out that's Mary Queen of Scots. From the Queen. Mary Queen of Scots. The. This Mary is where Queen she's been Scots. this whole time. We've not been in there, so we're going to go in there. That's what I'm talking about. Lots of old windows which are now blocked up. I love all that sort of stuff. See, I like the turret. Yeah, the turret is very cool. We couldn't get up there, could we? No, no, that's that where we wouldn't let, wouldn't let us walk to. In case you're thinking about coming to um, Craig Miller Castle, I have no idea if there is a bus or anything like that. I apologise. However, it was not expensive. It's only six pound for adults and cheaper for children, old age pensioners. Um, you get to spend as much time as you want here. You can explore at your own leisure, as you can see. It's quite. This is. June? No, it's not. This is... <laughs> it's May. It's May. <laughs> this is May. It's almost June. This is May right now. So a busy time of year and it's beautiful and quiet. Like if we were at Edinburgh Castle right now, you wouldn't be able to move. And it's a Saturday. And it's a Saturday. So you could really come and enjoy yourself here and take your time, especially if you're an Outlander fan. But yeah, well worth a visit. Kirsten just noticed this, that this is the northeast corner tower, part of the outer wall built in the 16th century. It contained a dovecot at this level, I'm guessing this level, um, with an opening for guns on the level below, which I can't see. But <laughs> if, if we can look in, you can see all the pigeonholes are still in there. That was a good find, Mrs. Brunford. Well done. It's Tony with a blocked up window. <laughs> why is it blocked up? These things are important to his. Look, it's blatantly different bricks than there. It's blatantly similar bricks to there, but it's been a different time. Why? I want to know why. Tell us your secrets. I feel like I should be able to tap in a certain order. Oh, with the umbrella? Yeah. Like in Harry Potter. Like an alley and I'll get in <gasps> Let's try it. Hang on, let me give there you have our trip to Craig Willow Castle. I've enjoyed that. Yeah, it was good fun. It's a lot of fun. And the fact that you just wander about yourself, take your time, is really good. You should, if you get a chance, come out here and visit it. If you enjoyed the video, you know, you know, do the like thing, uh, do the subscribe thing. If you ding, if you press the bell, ding, uh, ding. <laughs> if you ding the bell, <laughs> apparently you'll get notifications of whenever we put up a video. Leave a comment. We always get back to all the comments in one way or another. But, till next time. Bye, bye humans. humans.